round and equally Sydney FC will be pleased with their start to the season a derby win in front of a record breaking crowd the Matildas effect in full swing speaking of Matildas Tamika Yallop makes her first appearance since returning to Brisbane Raw a massive inclusion for Gareth McPherson's side Jenna McCormick wears the armband once again and the young 16 year old Grace Kualamu starts once more after scoring on a Liberty A League debut last week the unfortunate side of things for Sydney FC, Captain Nat Tovin's season-ending ACL injury means Ante Juric has been forced into making changes to his side. Margot Gervais and Abby Lemon come into the starting 11, and she may have scored last week, but Fiona Wirtz is out of the matchday squad, meaning after getting international clearance, former Brisbane Raw forward Shay Connors makes her debut in Sky Blue. And there is Tamika Yallop. A great sight for Brisbane Raw fans. Over 100 Matildas caps, over 130 games for the Brisbane Raw. A club icon through and through. Both sides just greeting each other. Zara Kruger at the back of the pack, or second from the back of the pack. Warwick born and raised. Made her debut for the Brisbane Raw last year but now has made that switch to Sydney FC. A big move for the 16-year-old. And Shay Connors, will she's made the switch also from the Brisbane Raw, won their golden boot last year. And now playing for Ante Juric's side. Both sides after the coin toss here. There's Princess Abini. Wearing the captain's armband in place of Nat Tobin. We'll observe a moment of silence and we invite you to join us as we remember the innocent victims in Israel and Gaza. We offer our heartfelt sympathies to the victims, their families and the communities invited and the community's impact. Isabella Blaze brings it to an end, leading the officiating team today. And there is Gareth McPherson, the Brisbane Raw head coach. And the bench behind him, now in his third season in charge, yet to make finals under his watch. Isabella Blaze leading the officiating team, assisted by Misuk Park, Avril Beecham and Joey Lee. Ante Juric, Sydney FC, head coach has got no problems with his side making finals. Eight seasons at the helm of the Sky Blues. And what a dynasty it has been. Tamiki Yallet back out there for the Brisbane Raw. A welcome sight for Brisbane Raw fans. As well as playing at Ballymore Stadium, a great venue to be hosting and a fantastic gallery today in attendance for what should be an absolute cracker of a match. Mia Corbin, the American striker, getting ready to get things underway. And round two of the Liberty A-League is here. Brisbane Raw hosting Sydney FC. Brisbane Raw in their trademark orange. The Sky Blues wearing their away white kit. And Shay Connors with her first touch against her former side, Lucy Johnson. Another acquisition this offseason. Coming over from the Newcastle Jets. We'll be adding plenty of legs into that midfield. Playing at the base at the moment. Taking up the place of the outgoing. Sarah Hunter has moved on to Paris FC. The reigning 
Liberty A-League Young Player of the Year, Campbell Johnson here in commentary for 10 play and Paramount Plus in the Liberty A-League. And what a day it is here in the Sunshine State, well and truly turning it on for the game today. Charlotte McLean will have to step up in defence in the absence of her captain and centre-back partner in Nat Tobin. Unfortunately, is out with that ACL injury sustained in round one in that record-breaking Sydney derby. The largest standalone women's crowd for a domestic match in Australian history. 11,471 people packed into Allianz Stadium, a beautiful sight. And carrying that momentum from the Women's World Cup Two players out there today from that World Cup squad. Courtney Vine, a fan favourite across the league and across Australia. And Tamika Yallop there in the 13 of the Brisbane Raw, her trademark number. Tamika Yallop scored that in that penalty shootout and Courtney Vine scored the decisive set shot and what a moment in history that is big shoes to fill for princess abini as well stepping into that captain's armband she's done it on quite a few occasions now as princess abini such an experienced player at a young age over 100 appearances for the sky blues Reached that milestone last year, the quickest player to do so. Just the second women's player for Sydney FC to go over 100 games for the club. Taking over from the legendary Teresa Polias. Here is Courtney Vine, the World Cup star. Trying to play it in to Shea Connors. And what would be a bittersweet moment to score against Brisbane. Courtney Vine. Returning to Queensland as well, a former Brisbane Raw player herself. From Mango Hill in Queensland. Was coming through the ranks at such a dominant period of time in the Brisbane Raw's history as a young player. Courtney Vines junior club not too far from here peninsula power just up in redcliffe about a 20 30 minute drive away so a great return home for her this weekend and a fantastic crowd building here at ballymore and a newly renovated grandstand on this near side And a place that will play a big part in the Brisbane Roar's progression. The men's have secured it as a training base moving forward. And the women's having their own facility being built as well in the Moreton Bay region. Things are trending well for the Brisbane Roar as Lucy Johnson, the Tasmanian, getting involved early. Shay Holman, great to see her back starting for Sydney FC after missing a large part of last season with injury. Started the season so well before going down. And a great opportunity for Zara Kruger to the number 19 for Sydney FC, still a teenager. Just 17 years of age, made her debut last year for the Brisbane Roar. Did the Queenslander from Warwick. Country town, about an hour or so west of Brisbane. Of course, played her MPL here alongside so many Brisbane Raw players at Lions FC. So 
That's a dominant side in the local league. In Brisbane. Here is Scarpelli, the American import. Such a mainstay of this competition is that getting those American imports into the side can make a massive difference to how your season pans out. Brisbane Raw had Hensley handcuffing goal last year. The American from Gotham FC and this year Jordan Silkowitz coming in. Scarpelli, the former Sporting Lisbon player. Coming over as well as Mia Corbin, who looked dangerous in her first game for the Raw. Sydney FC. Have Madison Haley last year, who's since moved on to Brighton and Hove Albion. And an almost an opportunity to counter for the Brisbane Roar and what a, what a turnout on the hill there for Brisbane. A ground predominantly used for rugby union here at Ballymore. Has hosted internationals in the past, has welcomed the King as well. A revival of the stadium now taking place not only for the Brisbane Roar, also for the Queensland Reds and the upcoming Olympics to be held in Brisbane. That far grandstand unable to be used for safety issues, that's why no one's sitting there. So you'd be coughing quite a bit of sun. In this afternoon kickoff, here's Scarpelli, Thompson, primary school teacher is Tegan Thompson, got her break as Shay Connors drifting into an offside position there, had a sniff at goal, and Princess Abini linking up well. Two players that have played together in the past at Apia Leichhardt in New South Wales. Shay Connors really got her break in Australia due to Lions FC. Her form there was absolutely sensational for the side. And here is that offside. Pretty clear to see, just getting a little bit too eager. Here's Shay Connors, I'm sure she'd love to score against her old side. Bittersweet moment though. Love to get a goal on debut, no doubt. And a big miss today for the Sky Blues is Fiona Wirtz, the Englishwoman. Scored in her debut. And when she was at Adelaide, scored five against the Brisbane Raw. The competition record joint with Hannah Wilkinson of Melbourne City. It'll be an active balancing screens for Brisbane Raw fans as the men's side are currently in action against the MacArthur Bulls. A busy day. If you're Fan of the Brisbane Raw, Chelsea Blissett. Just getting enough of Kirsty Fenton there, who scored last week. A sensational performance from the fullback. A great goal in the Sydney derby. Kulamu. Heavy collision there for Kaya Stevenson. And she does draw the foul. Such a tricky player is Kaya Stevenson. Brilliant close control and dribbling. Still yet to score. Here's Kaya Stevenson. And there it is, Shay Holman. Just getting too much of Kaya Stevenson there. 
player from Bundaberg. 21 year old Ray Stevenson. A strong Queensland identity running through this squad. Blissett looking to deliver, floating up. Not quite enough purpose on the ball there. Scarpelli. Great ball for Stevenson. This is good from the raw now. Trying to evade Lucy Johnson. Couldn't manage to do so. Tamika Yallop, such a good utility player. Not only for the Brisbane Raw, but for the Matildas as well. Seemingly sitting at the base of that midfield. We've seen her play all over the place. Tamika Yallop. Here's Corbin. Yallop advancing forward now. Yallop did score in her last game for the Brisbane Raw. A game that she probably want to forget. The last time Brisbane Raw played a finals game, 6-2 defeat to Melbourne victory. And they got their revenge last week, didn't they? Not much better places to watch a game of football than that hill right there. And the fans are loving it too. Is Fenton. Johnson. Such a good workhorse. For Newcastle in the past, will be looking to apply the same. For Sydney FC, Abby Lemon just a little bit outstretched, couldn't get onto it. And Sean Fryer collects. That's such a good game last week against Melbourne Victory, creating so many chances. Did Sean Fryer as Tegan Thompson wins her side at the corner. Sean Fryer did create four scoring chances in round one. And well done from Tegan Thompson. Sean Fryer with the joint most scoring chances created of any player in the competition joint with Hannah Blake of Adelaide United with four Yallop to deliver towards the front post headed away by Charlotte McLean Scarpelli getting a shot away but not on target promising signs from the Brisbane Raw early on here and it was a beautifully weighted ball, very hard to judge. And Charlotte McLean just bided her time. Margot Gervais picking up the mantle. And a shove there from Holly McQueen against her former teammate and good friend in Shay Connors. And all's fair in love and war. Oh, no bad blood there. Margot Chavez filling that centre-back role for Sydney FC in the absence of Nat Tobin. And Margot Chavez, such an interesting story with her. Escaped the Ivory Coast as a child. As we'll get back to that in a moment as Courtney Vine, the offside flag, does go up, though. Didn't challenge Jordan Silkowitz either way. Back to Margot Chavez, escaped the Ivory Coast while her family were working there. They spent two days locked up in their house before escaping with bullets being shot into the air. They were eventually evacuated by helicopter. And now at Sydney FC, such an amazing story. And a promising young player too, the former Western Sydney Wanderers defender. Just can't find a teammate on that occasion. And it takes some adjusting for Margot Gervais and Co. to get used to that new pairing. There's a bit of discourse about how Ante Juric would adjust things in the absence of his captain. 
And today we have our answer. Tori Tumuth dropping out of the starting 11 as well. Abby Green favoured. Abby Lemon, I should say, favoured in that right back position. Traditionally more of an attacking option, though. Lemon just able to reset the play. Shea Holman, sister of A League's players, Jake and Corey Holman, MacArthur and Sydney, respectively. three coming through at the Sky Blues a little bit of a miscommunication there between McCormick and Scarpelli they do get away with it here's Chavez Lemon. Great move from Courtney Vine. Just can't manage to get her way through. Jana Wyman, such a reliable goalkeeper for the Sky Blues. Here's McLean. In towards Shea Connors, it's one well by Holly McQueen. And the Brisbane Raw can look to go the other way to make a yellow. On a return to the Brisbane Raw. Fryer, a lovely move. Kualamu just under pressure from Kirsty Fenton. A big opportunity for the 16 year old Grace Kualamu. Grabbed it with both hands last week. Gareth McPherson said she's just been training too well to not include her. And she repaid the faith abundantly in her first game, the South United Junior. Her faith, a big part of her life. As a 16 year old, her parents run the Brisbane chapter of the Christian Mission Fellowship. It's Kulamu's family. He's the youngest of five siblings too. Born to migrant parents from Fiji and Romania is well dealt with by Jenna McCormick. And it's received brilliantly by the Brisbane crowd. Shay Connors was bearing down And thwarted by Jenna McCormick wearing the captain's armband. And another foul drawn by Kaya Stevenson. And the replay. Brilliant challenge from Jenna McCormick. Just to shut down the play in the advancement of Shea Connors. And he's been looking to make that run in behind all game long. Still early, early on in the game. Holman. McQueen does well. Yallop. Scarpelli. Just giving away possession there. Lemon driving out of defence. Tegan Thompson does very well too. McQueen under pressure from Abini. Of a frantic energy building into the game at the moment. Fryer does well to skip past three now. Fryer, great ball outside of the boot. Mia Corbin now tries to go past Margot Chavez in a physical shoulder there, but well dealt with by the Sydney FC defence. And a brilliant bit of play from Sean Fryer. Gets past Abby Lemon, past Shea Holman, and finds Mia Corbin out wide. But just can't quite get past Margot Gervais. But a brilliant bit of individual play from Sean Fryer. And here, Tamika Yallop shouts of a handball, and it is given against Tamika Yallop. 
And Sean Fryer, one of those players really impressing in his early stages of the season. Huilamu asked to do a lot by Blissett, who does very well. Gets it back from Corbin. Blissett striking goal. And the roar from the crowd for their side as Chelsea Blissett opens the scoring against the grand final winners, the double winners in Sydney FC in their first home game of the season. What a moment for Chelsea Blissett, her first Liberty A-League goal. And you can see the glee, the joy on her face, curling it past Jada Wyman. In her 45th game, Chelsea Blissett with her first Liberty A-League goal. Brisbane take the lead early. And what a way to do it, a brilliant counter. And her perseverance paying off brilliantly for Chelsea Blissett. And a perfect start for the Brisbane Roar. And you could hear how excited the home crowd got for that goal. A groundswell of support building for the Brisbane Roar and in particular the Liberty A-League side. And women's team all across the country. Truly brilliant to see. Here's Stevenson playing in a more central role than she's used to. Silkowitz looking for the goal scorer in Chelsea Blissett who does well to keep it in play. But turns it over. One back by Sydney. Abini. Here's Holman. Chave. Fryer. Just unable to keep it in play there. Caught Yvonne quiet so far. But we know how explosive she is and how much she can change a game. Chavez. He's Fenton. Such a standout last week it was Kirsty Fenton. He's McLean. Looking for that ball in behind and Lucy Johnson just can't quite chase it down. And Lucy Johnson will run all day for her side. A great pick up from the Newcastle Jets. Fenton gets inside of Kuilamu. Fenton in for Shay Connors there. Just couldn't quite get it under control. And a physical challenge from Princess Abini. The captain. Yallop with plenty of time to assess her options. And a lovely layoff and foul that time by Kirsty Fenton. Drawn by Chelsea Blissett. And just getting a talking to from Isabella Blaise. A little bit of physicality creeping in to Sydney FC's play. Abini, the run on the far side from Courtney Vine. Can she find it? Goes around Silkowitz. A lot of work still to do. Courtney Vine teeing it up. Shea Connors laying it off. Zara Kruger, but interrupted and intercepted by Shard Fryer. Back into the box now for Sydney FC. It was a good opportunity for Courtney Vine. Her touch just taking her a little bit too far. Wide of the mark. Couldn't 
Gorgeous shot on goal, and here it is. Did very well to make that run in behind Scarpelli. But that first touch, just a little bit too heavy from Courtney Vine. But a good opportunity for Sydney. Starting to build into this game. One back well by Blissett, having a great game so far. Here's a beanie. Under pressure from Corbin, the striker getting back to help her side. Kualamu. Here's McQueen. Blissett. Stevenson. Here's Thompson. Fryer. Just played out by Tegan Thompson. Just lacking that final ball on that occasion. Here's Yallop. McCormick driving out of defence. We're going to play that ball through for Mia Corbin. A tough one to deal with for Kirsty Fenton. Happy just to see it up into the air. Blissett down the line for Kualamu. It's a good ball. Fenton deals with the young 16-year-old. Showing her experience at a young age, Kirsty Fenton, the former Newcastle Jets player. A staple of Sydney's recruiting. Have this pull from across the league. Just to draw young talent to the side. Is Blissett in her first season with the Brisbane Roar after defending the last few campaigns with Melbourne City. And what a moment for her to get her first goal. Her Brisbane Roar home debut is Thompson. Shielding off Abby Lemon with ease on that occasion. He's Yallop. Nice to skip past Shay Holman there. Just puts it out of play though. Big opportunity for Abby Lemon. Playing in an unfamiliar role. Filling that void. Left by Charlie Rawl, who's moved on to Brighton and Hove Albion alongside Mackenzie Hawksby and Madison Haley. Three former Sydney FC players. Now playing for the Seagulls in the WSL. That pipeline really building. And so many key departures for Sydney FC. Sarah Hunter, Madison Haley, Mackenzie Hawksby. And of course, Charlie Rule. A good run from Courtney Vine, that first touch letting her down. And eventually they can clear the Brisbane Raw. Here's Chavez. Fenton. McLean driving out of defence now for Sydney. Flicked on by Courtney Vine. And to no avail. Brisbane Raw leading those passing stats. 74% accuracy in the game so far. Here's McQueen. Her mother, Pi Augustine, used to play for Queensland. Captain and coach them as well. That DNA running through her blood. The 21-year-old used to sell raffle tickets and host trivia nights to raise funds to represent the Queensland school sports. 
team that went to uh, Bendigo when she was a kid to be able to go along on those tournaments. It's coming a long way. He's had injury setbacks as well. Holly McQueen. Is now getting back into her football. Had a very serious knee injury that she sustained in the Kappa Women's Super Cup final as a drinks break here at Ballymore. And that knee injury, you never want to do it again, and it is her down now. Holly McQueen just getting assessed by the physios. And here is that opening goal. Chelsea Blissett showing off her dedication and perseverance, and it pays off for her. Her first Liberty A-League goal, what a way to do it. And her hard work paying dividends. And you can see the frustration from Kirsty Fenton. Just almost gave up on the ball. That miscommunication opening up the opportunity for Chelsea Blissett, but playing to the whistle and never giving up. And she got her rewards for it. Still getting assessed. I just did say that she has done her knee in previous games. The Kappa Women's Super Cup final a few years back for Lions FC against Western Pride. Her mother was coaching against her in that game as well. And hopefully it's nothing too serious. She doesn't look to be in too much pain and just getting it strapped up at the moment. Looks like she should be good to go, which you love to see. Nothing sinister, nothing too serious. All the players rehydrated as well. What a moment for Chelsea Blissett. Relishing in her return to Queensland. Start for Lions FC in the MPO women's as well. And a great move by Fryer. Still going. Got past Lemon. Fryer looking to square it. Mia Corbin, but it is saved and held on to by Jada Wyman, who's gone down as well. Following that one, no contact. She's okay. Perhaps just a little bit of a sore one. As we have a look at the replay, it's a lovely move from Shard Fryer. Potentially just a finger getting caught. And really putting on a show is Shard Fryer and stating her case to be starting in this side. Holman in behind for Abini, wearing the captain's armband. Abini looks to go past Chelsea Blissett, who does oh so well. Not giving away the foul. Winning the ball back. Off a player who's been capped by the Matildas too. And Princess Abini. Is McLean. Johnson. Out wide for Lemon. Searching for Shea Connors and the strike from Courtney Vine this time. Just drifting wide. Not the cleanest of contact from the Matilda and Taylor Ray coming on to first half substitute. For Lucy Johnson, by the looks of things. Perhaps a tactical change, or perhaps more likely, Lucy Johnson just picking up a knock of some description. But Taylor Ray now into the game. A good opportunity for her to reassert herself after being out with injury last season. such a young age has had to deal with so many injury setbacks as Taylor Ray. 
free ACL issues and injuries in her young career. Still just 22. And a Queenslander herself is Taylor Ray from Townsville. Big North Queensland Cowboys fan by all reports. He's Blissett. Gareth McPherson will be pleased with how his side have started things here at Ballymore today. Mia Corbin doing well and winning her side a corner. And scored from a corner in round one. Jenna McCormick rising above the pack, thumping header from the captain. And she'll do the same here. Chelsea Blissett to deliver the goal scorer. Can she provide? Blissett towards the back post and held on to well by Jada Wyman. Got under it expertly. Looking to advance things quickly, just didn't quite come off. Well taken by Jada Wyman on the replay. Chavez. Looking for that ball in behind for Princess Abini. Chelsea Blissett just able to find it. Yallop. Who's been able to play out of defence quite well there. Just can't string it together though. And they'll be happy to go in at half time with the score as is. Here's Lemon. Sydney FC just not forcing the issue at the moment. Still so much football to play. Here's McLean. Fryer. Dealt with well by Abby Lemon. And Tegan Thompson just can't quite keep it in. Happy to see it away. There's a massive round one in the Liberty A League. Round two shaping up to be equally. Big Central Coast Mariners with their first win. A great result for them. Melbourne City today getting up over Canberra United 2-1. Rihanna Policina with a brace in that game. Chelsea Blissett's goal here. All that's separating the sides with just over five minutes till the half-time break. Scarpelli going long for Corbin. The Americans trying to link up. Sydney win it back. Stevenson. Abini moving into a more central role. Jay Connors moving out wide, which he's done in the past. This is a great bit of work by Holly McQueen, but does dispossessed his Ray. Fenton, good ball in behind for Shay Connors, but just a little bit too much on it from the young Matilda. And he's knocking on the door for a senior call up for the national team is Kirsty Fenton. When we see a called up. the next squad time will tell if the form in the Liberty A-League continues the same way be hard not to pick up 
Here's Stevenson. Great ball out wide for Thompson. Driving now, has Fryer ahead. Keeps it in play, Fryer has to get the ball away, does so. Yallop takes a touch, Yallop still. Big challenge coming in from Shea Holman. And Sydney deal with the pressure oh so well. Here's Stevenson. Such a great technical player, as she's shown today. Scarpelli. Headed up by Charlotte McLean, struggling to clear her lines though. Falls for Corbin. Stevenson. A crucial touch there just to keep it away from her former teammate in Shea Connors. It's cut out well. Driving forward now. Courtney Vine. Won it back, feeding it through for Rabini. Still work to do, Rabini. Takes the touch inside, and it's won well. That time by the Brisbane Raw, Holly McQueen. Having a great game so far. Crucial intervention. Rabini. Lovely bit of link up play. Vine centers the ball, cut out by McCormick. And cleared eventually by the Brisbane Raw. Sydney starting to string it together. And Brisbane not giving them a sniff as it stands. Kaya Stevenson down on one knee. Hopefully nothing serious for the youngster. Medical team called out for Brisbane. She will just get assessed. The Bundaberg product. Kaya Stevenson. It's had a great game so far. And years of hard work paying off for her. Would make the trek twice a week from Bundaberg to Brisbane. Before moving to the capital of Queensland at 15. And hopefully it's not a setback for her today. Brisbane Raw and be pleased with how it sits at the moment and Sydney FC have to reassess how they tackle this game from behind Taylor Ray doing plenty of the talking in there for Sydney FC and this from Holly McQueen crucial Sydney FC really starting to build into this game. But Brisbane just handling the pressure. Not panicking. Kai Stevenson just going off on the far side. Doesn't look to be too serious at the moment. Hopefully it stays that way. Courtney Vine there as well. Back in her home state as things get back underway. The poster girl of the Liberty A League is Courtney Vine. Lemon delivering towards Connors, just goes overhead. Fenton, the goal scorer from last week alongside Fiona Wirtz, is Ray. Lemon. Stevenson still getting treatment. Lemon driving goes down. And it goes the way of Brisbane. Just for a handball there, falling on. The ball searching for the foul. Not given by Isabella Blaise. Here it is there, just falling onto the ball. Isabella Blaise thought about it, but didn't see a foul and saw Abby Lemon just falling onto the ball. That's good officiating from Isabella Blaze. A lot of players tend to go down on the ball. 
like that in search of a foul, not giving the referee any other option. If it's a 50-51, listen. Isabel Blaze has done well. Stick her foot in the ground and crunched. As Chelsea Blissett wins the foul this time. And a fantastic game as Chelsea Blissett. Here is that foul. Fenton and Shay Holman just bringing her down on that occasion. Gallup just running over. Blissett. That's a good ball that time, but just straight down the throat of Jada Wyman, who looks to go early. Here's Vine. Has pace to burn in behind. Shay Connors. Silkowitz off her line and a big collision between Silkowitz and Connors. And the offside flag did go up on Shay Connors anyway. Shay Connors looks to be okay. And her former teammate, Holly McQueen, giving her a hand up. Jordan Silkowitz, a big addition for the Brisbane Roar. And just straying offside was Shay Connors. It was a good run, though. And then cleaned up afterwards by Jordan Silkowitz, the American on loan from Kansas City Current. And the offside was called then. He's Blissett. Touch just lets her down a little bit. Does win it back, though. And a frantic end. Four minutes added on. A little bit more after that as well. Here's Fenton. Taylor Ray. Lemon. Looks back inside. Good first time ball. Oh, Shay Holman linking up well with Connors. Striking is Shay Holman, but going wide of the mark and not forcing a save out of Jordan Silkowitz. Good bit of link up play between Shay Holman and Shay Connors. Perhaps could have kept driving, but when it sits up like that, you almost have to give it a go. Force a save. Out of Silkowitz, though. It's run well by Ray. Down by McCormick. Spent last year with Adelaide United. Fryer. And Brisbane Raw get another before the break. Is marked by Lemon falling over. Still the opportunity for the Raw. Thompson teeing it up. Tamika Yallop takes a touch and it just goes wide. You can hear the Raw when she gets on the ball. Tamika Yallop. The whole crowd willing her to put it in the back of the net. Yallop. Tries to get past the beanie. Can't manage to do so. Brisbane still have it. But that is half time here at Ballymore. And thanks to Chelsea Blissett. The Brisbane Roar lead at the break over the Premiers and Champions. Sydney FC work to do for Arte Urich's Sky Blues, but it'll be a happy Brisbane Roar change room at the break. It is Brisbane Roar 1, Sydney FC 0. And what a half it was from the Brisbane Roar. Gareth McPherson will be pleased as punch with how his side played. And here are the key moments. Kirsty Fenton, just a miscommunication with herself and Margot Gervais. And Chelsea Blissett will take that one all the way to the bank. Her first Liberty A-League goal and her perseverance paying off. What a moment for her. You can see the frustration from Kirsty Fenton. And you can see the glee from Chelsea Blissett and the girls get around her. Exactly what you love to see. And a big first half for the Brisbane Roar, but fairly even on the stats sheet. Just the two shots for each side. 
and Brisbane Raw making it count. A massive second half to come here on Paramount Plus and 10 players. Brisbane Raw lead at the break by a goal. Stick around. Let's get started. This is the Merseyside Derby. This is our city. This is Anfield. Let's, Let's go. go. Come on, boys. Make way for the king. I came for the win. Up the toppers. <laughs> so let the games begin. Bring it on. No chance. We run the town. This isn't just football. This is everything. We run the town. It's Liverpool versus Everton. Live on TNT Sports. Every small step counts towards a big leap forward. Every finish line that turns into a starting line. Every hand up for a smarter solution. Every design that defies convention. Every charge towards a better tomorrow. Every jump. Every lap. Every performance that pushes the boundaries. It all counts. To take us further than we ever thought possible. Toyota, let's go beyond. Anyway, cutbacks, initial thoughts, downsizing. I could make do with this office here, I suppose, but that big space downstairs is a bit overindulgent nowadays, isn't it? By downstairs, do you mean closing the actual branch? Mm-hmm. But nationwide, aren't we? We're not nationwide, are we? We're nothing like them. Is that my ex-wife? Unlike the big banks, we are not closing our branches. Nationwide, a good way to bank. Not sure where to start with ED treatment? Hims makes it simple, with 100% online process and no in-person visit needed. First, complete a simple virtual consultation. Then, we match you with a licensed provider who can determine if treatment is right for you. If approved, your order ships discreetly to your door for free. With treatments like Viagra Connect, Cialis Together and personalised recommendations, the search for ED treatment starts here. Get started today at 4 Private healthcare with this slot? Yes, Ros. With Benenden Health, it's just £12.80 per person per month. Love to fridge gaze. We've made a fridge you'll love. LG InstaView. Knock twice, see inside. Knock twice and get smart savings on LG InstaView and selected fridges. Dear Bart, thank you. Thank you to the contract confusers, the price risers, and the fine work of the small print writers. Yeah, cheers to the bad mobile contracts out there for showing us how to make a good one. Switch now at gifgaff.com to a contract that has raised your data, not your prices. They're a bit like your current account. Just because something was good once doesn't mean you have to stick with it forever. Maybe it's time to switch with the current account switch service.
darlings aren't Helga. Futuristic scooters, old school website. Relax, web upgrades, I own them. Better design, e-commerce and smart AI. Now you're fit for the future. I scoot off now. Your digital partner, Ionos. Every small step counts towards a big leap forward. Every finish line that turns into a starting line. Every hand up for a smarter solution. Every design that defies convention. Every charge towards a better tomorrow. Every jump. Every lap. Every performance that pushes the boundaries. It all counts. To take us further than we ever thought possible. Toyota, let's go beyond. Being visible and relevant, it's powerful. I wanted to be part of history. Damn! People always call me monster. The story of my life. Boxing, it's the loneliest place in the world. You need to be resilient and not to stay on the path. Being famous is a game. Do you think you're too powerful? We might never know the truth. Plus facts, plus fiction. Showtime. Here we go. He didn't just want to be famous, he wanted to be historic. But redefined the American dream. On to Boston now! He's a champion! Of the a team to be reckoned with. Do I need to protect my income in case I can't work? Have I made the right financial decisions for my family? My pension helps look after my future, but who's looking out for our future? Royal London is a mutual. We support you and society. It's good to feel protected. Our pensions can be used to help make positive change. Together, our investments can help build a world worth retiring into. Proudly customer-owned since 1861. Royal London. It's everyone's business. At Simply Business, we know finding business insurance can be a pain in the glass. If you need any kind of glazing repair, you can get stuff. Perfect after a big night when you just want to hell up and die. Pop into my salon if you're looking. Rough around the edges. Full tops of garden maintenance. Over 900,000 businesses trust Simply Business to support with their insurance. <laughs> Simply Business. You name it, we insure it. Hey, I'm Charlie, and that's my favourite human, Ben. My mealtimes were all right, but not as natural as I'd like. Until nature's menu came along. Mmm. The raw nuggets are frozen to lock in all the nutrients I need. Just uncooked, quality meat and veggies you can see. Convenient for him, raw for me. All he does is pour, thaw, and serve. Now I eat natural like him. And look at us now. No way I'm hugging you, Ben. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Nature's menu, raw made convenient. Let's get started. We run the time. This is the Merseyside Derby. This is our city. This is Anfield. Let's, Let's go. go. Come on, boys. Make way for the king. I came for the win. Up the top. <laughs> so let the games begin. Bring it on. No chance. We run the town. This isn't just football. This is everything. We run the town. It's Liverpool versus Everton. Live on TNT Sports. from both sides and it's only making up for a massive second half to come here in the Liberty A League as Brisbane Raw host Sydney FC a state of origin clash if you will and Chelsea Blissett is having a sensational game today Tamika Yallop returning to the club and that one right before the halftime break Shay Connors against her former club getting clattered into by a new recruit, Jordan Silkowitz. She is okay though, Shay Connors. And Chelsea Blissett. Wasn't much better way to open up your account. Giving your new side the lead against the Premiers and Champions. And it was a great goal in that first half. And we are back underway. The second half. Here at Ballymore. 
And a substitution at half time. Tamika Yallop's day comes to an end on her return. As Holly Palmer comes on and Kaya Stevenson winding up from range. Doesn't get enough power on it though. And just falls into the arms of Jada Wyman. Holly Palmer entering the game. It was a first half substitution for Sydney FC as well. Lucy Johnson making way for Taylor Ray. Campbell Johnson here in commentary on Paramount Plus and 10 play. And what a day it is in Brisbane. Where else would you rather be? In Hurston. At Ballymore. <coughs> Ground that'll be utilised a lot more by Brisbane. In coming years, that's for sure. And a big chance for Holly Palmer to make a difference off the bench. His Fryer had such a good first half. And the fans will be more than happy with how Tamiki Yallop returned. Not as involved as perhaps she would have liked, but still plenty of work put in by her. Here's Thompson, was given an acre of space to work with. Cleared eventually by Chavet. In fact, it was Taylor Wright wearing one on that occasion. A little bit of a collision too. Did her job though. A look back at the replay Tegan Thompson great work from her and just that collision between herself and Kulamu right at the end she is okay and back to work Taylor Ray McLean he's lemon Playing is a bit more of a winger. There's Abby Lemon. Going to revert to the defensive duties. And we see how Sydney FC adjust there is to make a yellow on the bench for this second half. And the day has come to a close. Brilliant turnout on the hill there. And Ballymore as well, the grandstand closest to us here. That far side one unable to be used for the moment as Ballymore is undergoing renovations. And it's great to see football back here, back in Brisbane. Here's Ray. Lemon. Good ball in for Ray now, Lemon driving forward, having a strike from range this time. And into the arms of Silkowitz. No problems there. Lucky not to have a card shown her way in that first half for that challenge on Shay Connors. And Connors being called offside prior to the collision, prior to the contact. Is Thompson, the school teacher. Our day is Tegan Thompson often has her students turn up to her games. Scarpelli with the throw in. Can't find a teammate. Here's Ray. Fenton. Both sides coming off a round one victory. moment Brisbane Raw leading the way to make it two from two alongside Melbourne City who beat Cambria United earlier today and the ball from McLean headed away by McCormick still alive for Rabini though Zara Kruger fairly quiet from the youngster, who's been given plenty of game time at her new club. Stevenson, this is brilliant. 
Gets past two, lays it off for Kualamu. Two young Queenslanders. Is Blissett. Not a bad ball for Kualamu, who just can't manage to get to it. Just a little bit too far ahead of her on that occasion. And a stray ball doesn't challenge Chelsea Blissett. Able to get possession back for the Brisbane Roar. That's a lovely turn from Kualamu. Overlapping is Blissett and brought down the foul on Kirsty Fenton. And she does see yellow for it as well, shown by Isabella Blaze. A little bit of frustration setting in for Kirsty Fenton. Gives away the foul. Sees yellow. Was turned well by the 16-year-old Grace Kualamu. And just brought down out of frustration, just pulling on the jersey and on the arm. It was a fiery first half and it's looking like it's continuing here in the second. And a free kick in a good area to deliver into the box. Holly Palmer and Chelsea Blissett standing over it. Palmer running over. Blissett lifting it towards Jenna McCormick. Falls and may be followed up and it is cleared in the end by Sydney. And it was a nervy moment for the Sky Blues. They get away with it, though. Scarpelli still keeping it in play, and Jana Wyman happy to collect. And a risky ball. Just defense and unable to deal with it. McCormick fancying herself as a striker now. Scored a goal last week, and now she reckons she can do a job up top. There it is, it just fell and almost followed up by McCormick. It was Chavez that was able to eventually clear the ball for Sydney FC. Corbett, and it just goes out of play. Corbett unable to fashion an opportunity from it. Promising play from Brisbane. They could be on their way to their first finals berth. It's a long way away, obviously, with an extended season. A brilliant start to the campaign. Especially up against two very tough teams in Melbourne Victory and Sydney FC. No mean feat. They've still got a long way to go in this game to get the three points. They're doing all they can at the moment. Not panicking either. McQueen out of defence. A bit more strapping on that right knee. Is Kualamu. Out wide for Fryer. Marked up by Lemon. He's had a great game so far. Shard Fryer delivering. Shay Holman able to head it down with ease for Sydney. Courtney Vine struggling to get on the ball at the moment. Plenty of fans in the crowd, I'm sure, turning up for Courtney Vine as well today. Welcoming back the Matilda's heroes from the World Cup, and she is one of them. There's no doubt about that. Stevenson as well to evade the pressure. Kualamu in a more central area now. Blissett. Can she get on the end of it? Chave does very well. But Blissett still going and a foul there potentially. For Margo Chave. And some words with the officials as well. Avril Beecham on that far side. And here it is, the challenge. Very clean initially. And then the follow-up, not so. Margot Javet. Not overly happy with it, however. Palmer Blissett standing over it once more. 
caused some problems the first time around. And we'll do the same here. Tama delivering low this time and cut out by Princess Abini. Perhaps not what she was planning on. Holly Palmer, former Melbourne City player. And Sydney able to exit with ease in the end. Here's Ray. McLean. Chavez going long. Was looking for Princess Abini, but cut out well by Chelsea Blissett. A bit of an awkward one for Grace Kualamu there. Throw in now for Fenton. McLean trying to play it forward for Sydney FC. He's right. Scarpelli under a bit of pressure, but does well. And it does come off Courtney Vine in the end. For a goal kick for the Brisbane Raw. Here's Ray. Abini. Stevenson under pressure and Silkowitz. Able to clear for her side. Here's Vine. Don't they need some heroics at the moment, Sydney FC? Here's Corbin. Stevenson driving forward for the Brisbane Raw has options out wide too. Melissa just unable to track that one down. And a change being made for Sydney FC. Abby Lemon making way. Tori Tumuth coming on. Another change as well. Aideen Keane coming on. Princess Abini making way. Captain, now he comes to an end. Grace Kualamu, the 16 year old, here they comes to an end. Princess Abini just handing over the captain's armband and Hannah Holgerson. The Danish forward coming on for the Brisbane Raw. And there is the attendance for today. 3,679. What a feat for the Brisbane Raw. Simply sensational. And remember, if you want to come to the Liberty A-League games, anyone under the age of 16 is eligible for the Liberty A-League pass can register on the A-League's website. It allows you to go to every Liberty A-League game for free. Doesn't cost anything. You just have to be under the age of 16. So a great initiative. And why not sign up and go and support these stars today? Big challenge in midfield. Two former teammates coming together. Holly Palmer and Zara Kruger. Taylor Ray just playing the ball in. 
And just chopped down by Holly Palmer. Here's McLean. So a few changes being made. At the moment, we see the FC. We'll see how that affects the game. Moving forward, here's Ray. Tumut started last week in that Sydney derby, impressed many as well. Wasn't rewarded with a start today, though. Has an opportunity to state her case. Here's Ray. Ball in, cleared by Tegan Thompson. Corbin trying to chase that one down, but McLean does well. Holgerson. Here's McCormick. He's on the books with Adelaide United before suffering an injury. Holgerson didn't make one appearance though for the Reds here she is now inside for Thompson turning well Palmer and a slight injury here perhaps in back play and here's Kaya Stevenson who did have some issues in the first half Hopefully it's nothing serious for her. Looks to be a little bit of concern at the moment. Hopefully it's nothing too major for the 21-year-old. She's had a great game so far. Has Kaya Stevenson. Big season for her coming up. Gareth McPherson has big raps on her. Very highly rated by her coach. And for good reason, Ante Juric delivering the message to his side as well. That could be her day. Coming to an end, Kaya Stevenson, a change being made by the Brisbane Roar. Sarah O'Donoghue coming on. The 18-year-old. And a big applause from the home support for her. And just there, a little bit of a hyperextension perhaps for Kaya Stevenson. Hopefully nothing too serious or long-term. And her day does come to an end in not a good fashion. And it's a debut. Well, she got her debut last week, Sarah O'Donoghue. Coming on against Melbourne Victory. Plenty of young talent in this Brisbane Raw squad, as we've seen today. Promising signs for the Queensland side. And that crowd of 3,679, a standalone record for the Brisbane Raw women's in the Liberty A-League. Fantastic achievement. Their first home game of the season. That groundswell of support. From the Women's World Cup, leaving a legacy. And so many people packed in. A fantastic amount to open the season. It's what you love to see. 
they might go home happy too just under half an hour to play their side leads and aren't showing any sign of slowing up Sydney FC not forcing the issue and another change Indiana De Santos coming on for Zara Kruger two youngsters swapping places had such a great breakout season last year did Indiana De Santos Sydney FC's youngest ever scorer fifth youngest player to ever score in the Liberty A-League when she was 15 years and 170 days old simply incredible what a moment that was last year in the grand final as well becoming the youngest to play in a grand final such a promising young player can she take a step up this year she already looked so good last campaign at such a young age Sixteen years old now. But Sydney just struggling to gain some momentum in this game. Charlie McLean looking for that ball in behind. Shay Holman just can't find her though. Sydney FC using all of their outfield substitutions. They're maintaining plenty of possession just at the moment not quite doing anything with it as it's out wide this time Courtney Vine the Matildas hero keeps it in play great turn this time the strike from Tumut falls down in the box for Sydney collision no foul given no penalty given either much to the frustration of 18 Keen it was a great turn by Tori Tumuth. And 18 Keen brought down. And a fair case being made as well by the Sydney FC players. But no penalty given. There is Indiana De Santos. Jordan Silkowitz. Not being made to do too much as of yet. And here is that penalty shout. Just squashed between two players in McCormick and Scarpelli. Eventually brought down by Scarpelli, but no foul given by Isabella Blaze, the referee. Sydney FC will have to find another way in. Aiden Keen controlling it well. Great touch by Shea Holman. It was a good ball to her as well. Aiden Keane playing through the middle now. Ray. Here's Tumut. Former Melbourne City player. Ray. Only takes one moment to change the game. Can someone stand up for Sydney FC? The Premiers, the Champions. We did the double last year. They always set such a high standard. Vine flicking it on for De Santos that time. Tumut. Going to put it down the line. By her side, some yards. Can play as a central defender as well, Tori Tumut. Sean Fryer, close range as well, point blank. No intention there, but a bit of a falcon for it. Seems to be okay, but just the mandatory checks to see she is fine. And it just came back from Tori Tumor trying to clear it. You should have a look on the replay. Seemingly didn't hit her as clean as first expected. Concussion protocol testing for her just to make sure she's okay. The 
doctors doing their due diligence. She's been so good today, has Sean Fryer. She's had a few stints at the club now. Is this her breakout season? Is this when she asserts herself? At the moment, it's looking like it will be. Still a long way to go in the campaign, though. Here's Ray. Great splitting ball. The key, Ray. Getting a shot away, but taking a few touches on the way through. Silkowitz able to handle it. Corbin puts it on well. No Brisbane Raw player able to follow it up though. Here's Dos Santos. Great ball through out wide for Shay Connors against her former club. Dos Santos. Able to maintain possession. Will Johnson here in commentary. Paramount Plus and 10 play. Is McLean. Vine. Holman lifting it towards Aideen Key, but it's headed away by McCormick. Fairly even in the passing accuracy as Sean Fryer back on the pitch, giving away possession though. McCormick. Silkowitz giving it away. Courtney Vine from range swinging back and held on to by Silkowitz and Brisbane Roar not paid for their error. Courtney Vine can't finish that time. Silkowitz just giving it away. Had a nice shape to it from Courtney Vine. And one of their better chances of the half. Starting to knock on the door. Uh, Sydney FC. And not making that breakthrough. Here's Blissett. Driving forward. McLean. A great ball forward. Hard to deal with. Vine. It's great defending from Scarpelli in the end. And Brisbane Raw get away with one once more. It was a great ball over the top from Charlotte McLean. And Courtney Vine, you can't give her an inch. It was just enough contact from Scarpelli and Brisbane Raw. Starting to get a little bit sloppy as the game wears on. Scarpelli under pressure. Sydney trying to win the ball back high. And here's a foul. Going the way of Brisbane. And here is that chance. The ball in behind. Scarpelli just with enough contact to slow Courtney Vine down, but not to give away a foul. It's good defending from the American. And it saves those side from potentially conceding. And Sydney FC from drawing level. Another foul once more. Aiden Keane giving it away. Throwing herself about since coming on. McCormick and her in a bit of a wrestle there. An aerial duel. Just bringing her back down to earth for a moment there. It's a good ball in behind. Trying to get past it. A big collision though. Kirsty Fenton. And it's Hannah Holgerson on the far side for the Brisbane Roar. The Dane is Blissett. Driving forward, Chelsea Blissett, the goal scorer. Corbin, 
Lovely one too. And Charlotte McLean alert to the danger. Able to clear for Brisbane. 15 minutes left in this game. Plenty of time for the result to change. It was a great run by Chelsea Blissett, who's had a sensational afternoon here in Hurston. Holgerson. Corbin, it's a tough one to deal with. Corbin turns. Ajada Wyman. Alert. Coming off her line. Is Tumor. Ray. Fenton. Nice ball inside looking for A. Dean Keane. But Holgerson does very well. Maintain possession for the Brisbane Raw. Here's O'Donoghue. Brought down. One back well. By Dos Santos. Holman. Well won by Fryer. Brisbane just defending all they can at the moment. Dos Santos, a nice one too. With Tori Tume at the right back at the moment. Takes a touch and it will be a corner for Sydney FC. Any opportunity. Sydney FC will take. And the Premiers and the Champions for a reason. Make you pay at any moment. Can they do it here? Taylor Ray to deliver. Low, driven towards that front post. And Mia Corbin able to clear much to the glee of the Brisbane Royal crowd. Here's Ray. Fenton switching sides now towards the back post. Headed away by the Brisbane Raw. Here's Dos Santos. Ray. Fenton. Lifting it in on that right foot. Vine. Dos Santos. Tegan Thompson. Just clearing for Brisbane. Here's Vine. And now seemingly playing on the right-hand side of defence. At least for the moment. Holman striking this time. And not forcing a save out of Silkowitz. On that far side. Shay Connors against her former club. Doesn't force a save out of her compatriot in Jordan Silkowitz. But it's a nice bit of build-up play from Sydney FC. Good strike from Shay Connors. Silkowitz hasn't been asked to do too much today. And she'll be hoping it stays that way too. O'Donoghue, nice turn from the 18-year-old. Chave. Ray has been great since coming on at the base of midfield for the Sky Blues. Chauvet looking for Shea Connors out wide. Couldn't find her, but Chelsea Blissett does give away the throw in for Sydney FC to take with open arms. Fenton. Here's Ray driving through midfield. Holman in a more advanced position than she's used to. Tumeth making herself some room. Tori Tumeth trying to lay it off for a teammate. Trying to find them in the box. Just couldn't do so. Perhaps should have gone for the strike herself. Just over 10 minutes to play here in Brisbane. As the sun starts to fade away. 
is Vine. Sydney FC's hopes fading by the minute as well. Still so much time to completely change the result. Thompson is Holman. Aiden Keane does well just to get across McCormick, an opportunity as Holly McQueen able to clear for Brisbane and sweep up in behind of her captain. Sydney FC building now. Tumuth. Vine. Getting plenty of the ball. Late here at Ballymore. Dos Santos. Vine. Holman. Able to win her side. A corner, a valuable one too. Physical from Aideen Keane off the bench. Holly McQueen does her job. Taylor Ray, every set piece crucial, lifting it towards the back post, Silkowitz gets a hand to it, and it is enough to clear the danger. Fenton though for Sydney. McLean, having a pop herself, McLean, and it is saved well by Silkowitz. Not taking chances in the centre back. Thought, well, if you guys can't put it in the back of the net, I'll have a go myself. And it almost crept into that top corner for Charlotte McLean. And you never know as the corner's taken once more. In a dangerous area, Sydney FC getting the strike away. Kirsty Fenton having a pop. Lifted back in. Chested down brilliantly. Tumuth. In behind for Connors, and it just gets away from her. But that's brilliant hold-up play from Aideen Keane. Just taking it on the chest. The ball came in. Well, that's the first shot from Charlotte McLean. But the ball came in, took it down with the chest. Laying it off for a teammate. Great bit of play from the former Perth player, Aideen Keane. Still only 21. And a good addition for the Sky Blues. Corbin. Holgerson. Taking her time. Gets it back from Blissett. Blissett. Back for McQueen. Brisbane defence has been solid today. As they were against Melbourne victory as well, but it's won back by Sydney. Vine. Tumor. And a brilliant challenge from Sean Fryer. Much the cheer of the home support. And it goes their way too with the throw in. In fact, it will be a free kick. One by Sean Fryer. Brisbane just trying to eat up the minutes. Take everything slowly. Here's Silkowitz. Going long. Headed away by Holman. Connors. Wouldn't she love to be the hero? McLean. Lifting the ball in towards Aideen Keane. Thompson. Under pressure from Shea Holman. He's put in a great shift today, has Shea Holman. You can't fault any of the Sydney players at the moment. All putting in the graft, the hard work. Just lacking that final product at the moment.
Holgerson. Steers it away from the Sydney players. Uh, pressing high to win the ball in a valuable area. Palmer. Blissett under a bit of pressure and gives away the ball. Keen. Driving forward now is McLean, the centre back. That's one back well by Fryer. Trying to get it out of defence for her side. And Tegan Thompson happy to send it long towards Mia Corbin. Javet. Taylor Ray. Under five minutes left. Has to be now for Sydney. They want to get anything out of this game. Connor's lifting it into the box. They can't make anything of it. Here's McLean. And it's back to the wall for Brisbane Raw. Happy to see it away at any moment. Not taking any chances. Holding out what a valuable three points this would be for Gareth McPherson's side. And a foul there. Given away by the Raw. A dangerous one too. Taylor Ray standing over it. Look for a teammate. Sean Fryer, a one player wall. Plenty of Sydney FC shirts in the box. Brisbane defending with everything they've got. The ball in now, headed away by Thompson. Brilliantly, too. McLean having a strike herself once more. And Silkowitz having to cover so much ground to get across, but does so. Able to keep it out of her goal. McLean saw the option, had a pop, and just able to steer it out of danger. Jordan Silkowitz. Only wanted to hang on to it, but happy just to not see it go in the back of the net. Corbin clearing for the Brisbane Roar at that near post. About two minutes left to play. Every second counts for both teams. Brisbane can't slip up. Sydney have to make it count. With every possession they have, McLean. He's looking for Shea Connors. Just couldn't quite find her. Over the top of the American. Good first touch by Chavez. The centre backs dictating play for Sydney FC at the moment. And Holly Palmer happy to see that one out of play. Won't Gareth McPherson be pleased if his side get all three points as it's looking like they will at the moment. About a minute to play. Here at Ballymore. Valuable three minutes at that. Silkowitz. Not the exit she was hoping for. Out of play. In Sydney, an opportunity. As we creep closer to full time. Is Ray. Dos Santos. The youngster, Fryer. Happy to see the sideline once more. Tumut with the throw in. Holman. Here's Tumut. One back well by Fryer. Just sending it long. Chave. Wyman. Getting a part of the play. Here's Ray. And be four minutes added on. Here at Ballymore. Four minutes. 
for Sydney FC to draw level or go further. Here's Vine, the Matildas hero out wide for Tumut. And takes a touch off Tegan Thompson for a throw in. Here's Holman. Delivering now blocked on its way. Here's McLean, has had a few goes herself. Taylor Ray doing the same. And takes a bounce on its way through. Silkowitz will slow things down. Brisbane Raw with three minutes to hang on. They'll be chewing it up with every opportunity they get. Silkowitz goes long. Fenton heads it down. They'll start to head towards the corner flag. Fryer maintaining possession. Thompson. It's blocked by Holman. And still in play. This is exactly where Brisbane want the ball. Tumut. I want to keep it up this end of the pitch, Brisbane. Holman. One back well by O'Donoghue. And knows the task well. Plenty of excited fans in the stands. Vine, great turn, gets past Thompson. Courtney Vine trying to cut inside. Just losing possession, but exactly what her side needed. And a substitution being made for Brisbane. Tamar Levin coming on. Sean Fryer making way. Another sensational game for Sean Fryer. Isabella Blaze just trying to speed things up Tamar Levin coming on what a performance from Sean Fryer that's a great reception too from the home fans Chavez giving away Levin trying to steam away that's brilliant from Margot Chavez a great challenge keeps it close too is this the opportunity for Sydney? It's cleared. Just minutes remain. Ray looking to pull the strings from deep. Lifting it in towards Aideen Keane. Can't quite find her though. Has to be now for Sydney. Given away, Taylor Ray, Dos Santos, into the feet of 18 Keen. Goes past McQueen, delivering towards the back post and held on too well by Jordan Silkowitz. And her teammates get around her too. Courtney Vine was waiting at the back post for it. A good bit of work from 18 Keen. And confident goalkeeping from Jordan Silkowitz. Just seconds remain. Here at Ballymore. Corbin. Happy just to hang on to possession. Find the empty space. Chavez. What a result this could be for Gareth McPherson's side. McLean. Do they have one more opportunity? Sydney FC. One more chance. Tamar Levin. Isabella Blaze puts the whistle up to the lips and it's full time. Here at Ballymore. And the Premiers, the champions, are defeated by the Brisbane Roar. What a result for Gareth McPherson's side. Chelsea Blissett's goal stands between them and a victory. It's enough. And a young side march on. And the Premiers, the champions, the Sky Blues are defeated at Ballymore. It is Brisbane Rule 1, Sydney FC 0.
Well, they are pumped, and for good reason. What a performance from Gareth McPherson's side. Without Ishnori as well in the celebrations there. So good as we look back at the key moments for the Brisbane Roar. This was the one. Chelsea Blissett picking up possession. The perseverance from her to keep going. Her first Liberty A-League goal and can see what it means to her. She'll be so happy with that. And a great goal too. The frustration from Kirsty Fenton. That's what separates the sides today. Chelsea Blissett's goal. What a time to do it against the champions. The second half full of action. Jenna McCormick almost following that one up before Margot Chavez was able to clear and shake on his, her best chance of the game against her former side. Courtney Vine as well with Sydney's one of Sydney's best chances of that second half. Struggling to get opportunities in good areas, but Jordan Silkowitz equal to the challenge. Charlotte McLean having shots from range. Had a few, did the centre back. And the Brisbane Raw, the only side, or one of two sides, I should say, to have won their opening two games so far in this Liberty A League season. A perfect start for Gareth McPherson's side. What's shaping up to be a great season with an extended final series too. Plenty to do for both sides and still a long way to go. A fantastic game. A record Brisbane Raw women's crowd. 3,679 people piling into Ballymore for the first time in 12 years. So many, many positives for the hosts. And you can see there, Sydney FC with seven shots on target. A lot of them, though, not from a great range, not a high quality of chance. And they're made to pay in the end by the Brisbane Raw, who didn't make finals last year. Could they make it for the first time since 2021? And how good is this? Vine time. Go, girls. So much support for the Matildas, Tamika Yallop and Courtney Vine and all the girls here. And what a happy home crowd it is as Brisbane Raw are victorious against the champions at Ballymore. It is Brisbane Raw 1, Sydney FC 0. We have an impressive lineup tonight, kicking off with Inter looking to make their way to the top as they visit Torino. Lazio face a tough trip to Sassuolo and Nice face Marseille in a Mediterranean derby. Let's get started. We run this, this is the Merseyside derby. This is our city. This is Anfield. Let's go. Come on, boys. Make way for the game. I came for the win. All the toppers. <laughs> To let the games begin. Bring it on. No chance. We run the town. This isn't just football. This is everything. We run the town. It's Liverpool versus Everton live on TNT Sports. The table. Bring good food, good company, and a beer. Perfectly balanced with four hops. Birrificio Angelo Poretti. Made for the table. We can't make working out any easier, but we can straighten your teeth three times sooner than traditional braces. It is so easy to follow. And now I have the smile that I've always wanted. Join over one million smilers and counting. Life-changing, the best decision I ever made. No braces, no monthly practice visits, no paying a fortune. Book your free visit at smiledirectclub.co.uk. Smile Direct Club.